The story of extreme cold, once in a generation cold. Those are some of the headlines here at the Weather Network. It's been cold enough across Alberta to do this. Freeze your ramen straight up in the air with the fork levitating in just 20 minutes. Some incredible scenes when we talk about this cold, record-breaking cold. And I want to bring in now meteorologist Rhythm Reet to talk about Alberta because Alberta really has been a province that's been highlighted to be in the freezer with this Arctic outbreak and rhythm. Yesterday, Alberta was mistaken for a cloud. You've got to explain this one for us. You got it. So across, when we take a look at satellites and upper level clouds, we tend to look at the further red we head on the map. That's, those are those temperatures falling down below negative 50. So if we take a look up towards areas of Hudson's Bay, we see that cloud moving in. However, for Alberta, it was a clear day. So those temperatures that the satellite picked up was actually ground level temperatures falling down to negative 30 and 40. So Alberta was as cold as a cloud. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. <laughs> now we did see our first minus 50 of the season. So where was that? That was in uh, Keg River, Alberta. So this was the first 50 that we have recorded since 2004. 20 years and we're back at those dipping down cold temperatures once again. Wow. Now it does seem like January 12th was really the peak of some of the cold across Alberta and within the interior of BC. So let's go over some of those records. Well, when it comes comes to Edmonton, that was one of the places that we saw those records being broken, specifically Edmonton Airport. We had the coldest daytime high of negative 34.4 degrees recorded. On top of that, the same day we got to uh, record the coldest temperature recorded, or rather the third coldest temperature recorded at negative 45.9. Now, as we take a look down towards areas of Vancouver, they got to see their coldest wind chill since the 60s, falling down to negative 26. And for Victoria, well, the coldest daytime high of ne since ne the 70s, which was a negative 6.7. All right, no matter which way you slice it, that is cold. And I'm sure many people across the West are wondering, when will this cold be departing? Well, I have good news for them. All of the cold air is luckily departing as we head it towards the middle of this week. It's going to be shifting towards the east and that polar vortex is finally going to migrate back up towards the north where it truly belongs. Absolutely. Now let's talk about these temperatures because Alberta is a province that has seen some pretty incredible temperature swings and rebounds. We're talking maybe 20 degree difference, right? Well, we're looking at possibly 30 degree difference as we go towards next Saturday into Sunday, we will be looking at Medicine Hat going from negative 35 on Monday up towards five degrees. And now we've seen this swing before in the past where all the way back in 2003, a place like Medicine Hat got to see a 37 degree temperature rebound just within seven days. All right, I think many people across Alberta are ready to finally thaw out, but people now across Ontario and Quebec, they're about to head into the freezer, right? Well, cold temperatures for sure that we have not seen thus far into across the winter. We get to see all that Arctic, Arctic air infiltrate towards areas of the east, bringing our coldest week ahead. Now, places like Uxbridge, Ontario, for example, the ski resorts throughout cottage country, they will be extremely excited to finally welcome in some of this cold air. This was the scene over this weekend as lake effect snow and system snow tracked through the area. So Rhythm, let's take a look at a few seven day forecasts across Ontario, just to put into perspective that January finally is really showing up. When we're taking a look at Huntsville, we do get to see multiple days of snow thanks to all of that cold air infiltrating in as well as those snow the lake effect snow machine getting a kick start so those cold temperatures will be falling down as we head through this week all right a cold chilly forecast moves out of alberta and transfers its way into ontario thanks for them